I'm out here with this QK18KXS-C excavator. Here's the belt. I'm going to show you everything that I've got to do to fix this and put the alternator on. This is the original bracket. Bend it straight. This is the little piece in the bolts for the alternator. Here's the bottom alternator and the spacer. It's just tape and washers. I'll show you what the drill's for in a minute. Here's the alternator. Part number 66445.1N. 100 amp alternator. It was about 175. I've got it. I'll have to look up the name. It's a fancy one. It's chrome plated. But the bad part of it is 90 day warranty. Now here's the other drawback to this. The only modification I got to do because I need this bolt here. This is the same thing. So, drill bit. May have to go get a little larger bit, drill bit. I'll be right back. I gotta get a larger drill, but I thought one of these may be big enough, but it's not. Could have went a little bit smaller, but I need that there. The belt I've already installed. The only other thing I've done is I shortened this three inches, put a piece of angle iron here. Otherwise, this is natural. Cut this off. It's here. Put a 45 piece on. I did put another piece of pipe here because I thought I was going to need it longer. I didn't. So what I'm going to do now is install the alternator. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and put this on so I don't have to fight with it as much.
The alternator is installed. So now what I'm going to do is start it. And check.
first modification done. Ten minutes, no shutdown. But just so you can see, I've got to pull this out because I've got it bolted out of it right now, and it doesn't get near the old one. So it's installed. I'm gonna put this back panel on then it'll be good. So the next modification is I've already did the floor pan, but I'm going to do the hose connections so that I can, uh, my hose connection so that I can do the backhoe controls. I'm going to cut this one off right now, and I'll do another one later.